Hello, my name is Thomas and look what I've got today, the brand new TT Artisan 50mm f2 full frame lens and that's why I'm also shooting it on a Sony today. Let's have a go. So this lens was uh, issued mid-2022 and it comes for all the regular mounts like uh, Nikon Z, Canon RF, a Sony FE mount. It's a full frame lens, but they also sell it, for example, for Fuji X mount, which is only APS-C. So uh, I will do two reviews. This review today is a full frame on the Sony and then there will be a second review uh, about this lens on APS-C. Okay, uh, fit and finish. As you see, it's a really, really small lens. It's maybe it's not a pancake lens, but it's about the shortest 50 mil lens I've ever seen. And note that some old SLR lenses are as small. I'm going to show you one in a minute, but this doesn't need an adapter. So it's a super, super small combo. Uh, finish is Fantastic, I have to say. Typical TT Artisan quality, super smooth focusing ring down to 0.5 meters. Uh, the aperture ring sits in the front, as with all the TT Artisan lenses, and it's clicked. So you've got half stops until 5.6 and then full F stops up to 16. And there is also F11 marked on it. And um, it takes uh, 43 millimeter filters. Um, as usual, this is a fully manual lens, that means no electric contacts whatsoever. Um, to use the IBIS of your Sony body, for example, you have to enter the focal length of 50 mm somewhere in your menu, then it works. Overall, fit and finish is just fantastic. Uh, this lens is unfortunately very sensitive to flare and uh, stray light, so it makes sense to use a lens hood. I was uh, supplied with this lens hood, 43mm generic hood, all metal. Um, that cures it somewhat. And um, I will put a link to all these things in my description. So close focus is 50 centimeters. It's a little bit on the long end if you ask me, but I'm going to take a picture of this thing to show you. That's 50 centimeters. It's a little bit wide. Bokeh of this lens is really nice. Uh, of course, here I was really close, 80 centimeters only. But also when you take portrait shots, uh, this is a 50mm f2 lens on full frame that gives you already a lot of smooth background blur. And in this regard, the lens is really a lot of fun. Okay. 
And what is if we take a picture where I'm... Oh yeah, cool. What is if we take a picture where uh, the whole body is to show if it still makes background blur? Okay. Okay, let's do a comparison test. Um, I've got this TT Artisan 50mm lens and I've got uh, a vintage Minolta 45 f2 sort of pancake cookie style lens with an adapter with me. And I'm going to shoot all the apertures from f2 to f11 uh, on this landscape shot. And focus will be on the big tree over there. Let's go for it. So as you see, the Minolta 45 is a super, super small lens. Uh, this is the lens. It's about as tiny as the new TT Artisan 50, but you will need this adapter because it's a uh, SLR lens. And you know, they always need these lengthy adapters to come to, uh, to use it with a mirrorless camera. So if you use it now on the Sony, it's considerably bigger than the TT Artisan. That's the strong point of the TT Artisan. It's the smallest. 50 mil possibility on a mirrorless camera today. And I'm shooting this now also from f2 to f11 on this landscape shot. Image quality, um, I was expecting something similar to the 35mm f1.4 APC lens, I did a review there. That lens is just fantastic. It's an absolutely cool uh, standard lens, but it's made for APS-C. So I thought this 50mm f2 is maybe very similar. I have to say it isn't. This lens has its quirks. Uh, wide open, uh, the whole outside area of the frame is really not in focus at all you have to stop down a lot and for uh, landscape shooting even f8 sometimes doesn't do the trick you also have to be very careful with the focusing because there is a lot of field curvature going on that means if you focus on the center at f8 and you take a landscape shot at infinity the borders will still be out of focus uh, if you focus somewhere almost to the corner of the frame at f8 then the field curvature works out in such a way that the whole frame looks decently sharp, still not perfect. So this lens has its quirks, it's not as good as other 50mm lenses are for full frame. Keep in mind the next best option would be maybe the Sony 50mm f1.8 with autofocus. It's still very affordable, but it's more than twice the price of this. The Sony is a much much better lens optically. Uh, bokeh is cool on this lens, I like it a lot. It's a little bit swirly but not too bad and you can have a lot of fun with this lens but sharpness is not its uh, greatest uh, strength.
So this lens is maybe not perfect for architecture, but you're just shooting a detail, picking out something, a focus on it at open aperture f2. Images will look very good. I'll give you an example of these boring leaves. One thing I love about all these TT Artisan lenses is they've got the hard stop at infinity here. Click. It stops at infinity. Uh, note, it's not always perfectly aligned when you buy these lenses, but there are two super small set screws here. Uh, you can adjust it yourself within two minutes. It's a super cool feature. Stray light performance, this is one uh, weakness of this lens. There are many situations where you get like even, yeah. I took a picture of a forest and then the sky above the forest uh, caused some shine on the lens, even though I was using the lens hood. So I had to shade it in addition with my hand to avoid that. So uh, all things, uh, counter light, stray light, etc. Sometimes you get a nice effect in your picture. Quack, quack, quack. Sometimes you get a nice effect in your picture, but sometimes it's uh, just not a good performance. So keep that in mind. It's good for experimenting, but if you're looking for a lens with a very solid performance, maybe move on. Time for the verdict. I do love TT Artisan lenses for their combination of really good, solid image quality, super low price and very, very, very nice mechanical quality and design. And this lens is a little bit of an exception, at least on full frame it is. Because uh, yeah, for insanely low money you get a beautifully crafted lens uh, that's 50mm f2, but it does come with some shortcomings. So the image performance is not as solid maybe as some other TT Artisan offerings. On the other hand, this lens offers even more. I mean, this is a full frame lens and 50 f2 is kind of a good spec for that low a price. I had a lot of fun with this lens. It's a very nice shooter. I got a lot of keepers, uh, so that's a good thing. But Call it character, call it weaknesses, whatever. This lens cannot really compare with, for example, a 50mm f1.8 Sony lens, not even optically. And again, uh, the APS-C 35f1.4 TT Artisan, optically, it can compete even with the Fujinon 35. So there you get sort of the same quality 
uh, with a little bit different character for a much lower price. Here you have a lower price but you also get lower optical quality and this can be an advantage as in characterful shots or it can be a disadvantage if you're looking for just clean and crisp images uh, of landscapes for example. Um, I do a second review of this lens uh, on APS-C because the character of the lens is very different there. So if you're shooting an APS-C camera, maybe check out that review as well. So that's it for today. I hope you found this useful and interesting. If you did so, then please leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, hit the small bell button for notifications. You know the drill. I hope you have a great time. Live long and prosper. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.